welcome to gem kim now today's video is on important questions based on the topics covered in the channel and these questions are important for bsc chemistry first year syllabus now let us start now first question is a multiple select question that is it means that there is a multiple answer for this particular question so what is the question which of the following sets of quantum numbers is or are not allowed so let us write the criteria for the quantum number okay so we know that l should be equal to 0 2 n minus 1 right and in this case m must be equals to minus l to plus l right but if we look carefully for the first case it is okay that is n equals to 3 so l can be 2 and ml can be minus 1 Whereas for the second case, if we deal with it, then n is given as 4, right? And l is given as 0. So l is okay. But if we come for the m l, then it might be minus l or plus l. So in this case, only 0 is possible. So this answer is not right set of quantum numbers. So b is an answer. And if we go for the next one, that is n equals to 3, then L can never be equal to 3. L should be n minus 1. That is, it should be 2. Right. So, this answer is also wrong. So, we will take this one also. And the last one, which we see here, n equals to 5. So, L equals to 3 possible. And M L equals to plus 2 is also possible. So, our answer in this case is B and C. Now, for greater details, you can watch the atomic structure videos and I will give the link in the description box. Now, let us see the next MCQ. This is multiple choice question and this topic is being greatly discussed in atomic structure part 1 video. Now, we know that the ionization energy is given by the basic formula which is minus 13.6 z square n square and here it is asks that ionization energy of hydrogen atom in ground state is 13.6 so the energy released in electron volt for the third member of the Bama series and we know that Bama series starts from n equal to 2 and the third member of the Bama series indicates the position 5 so our required answer is minus 13.6 into 1 square by 5 square minus of minus 13.6 into 1 square by 4 and the answer comes to be as 2.856 so this is the correct answer so our answer is option b now we will go for the next question this is a question from the solid state and this is a direct question. You can watch the solid state part 2 video for greater details. Now, the answer is the number of crystal systems and the number of Bravais lattices are respectively. So, we know that there are 7 crystal systems and 14 Bravais lattices. So, our answer comes to be as the D answer. That is this one. Right. Next, we will go for the next question. It is a MSQ question. And this is intensive variable question. Now, intensive variable is being discussed in chemical thermodynamics part 1 video. If you have not watched it, I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present about this video. Now, let us see. Now, intensive variable refers to those variables which are independent of mass. Right independent of mass and we have directly seen the examples which are independent of mass in the video right so our answer comes to be as temperature pressure and density these are independent of mass whereas volume is dependent on mass now the next one is a NAT question that is numerical answer type question now see 
the nuclear spin quantum number L of a nucleus is 3 by 2 and when placed in an external magnetic field the number of possible spin energy states it can occupy is. Now the formula for this that is the number of possible spin energy states it can occupy is given by a simple formula 2 L plus 1 and here we have seen that L is given as 3 by 2 so our answer is here 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 comes to be as 4 so our answer here is 4 now we will go for the next that is NAT type question now for this how to get the value of CV detailed discussion is being done in kinetic theory of gases part 6 video you can watch it I will give the link in the description box as well as the I button present above this video now let us see the question the value of CV for one mole of N2 gas predicted from the principle of equipartition of energy ignoring the vibrational contribution is dash joule per Kelvin per mole and it is rounded up to two decimal places and the R value is also being given. So we know that since N2 is being given so N2 is a linear molecule so number of degrees of freedom for translational case it is 3 for rotational case it is 2 and for vibrational case it is 3n minus 5 that is 3 into 2 that is 6 minus 5 it is equals to 1 and it is already told that to ignore the vibrational contribution so we will not take this one so ultimately our formula for CV is equals to 3 R by 2 plus 2 R by 2 and it comes to be as 5 by 2 R and if we calculate further the value comes to be as 20.75 and it is already told to round up to 2 decimal place so we have already rounded up so our answer is 20.75 now the next question is also from kinetic theory of gases and the reference for this is part 1 video now assuming the ideal gas behavior the density of oxygen gas at 300 Kelvin and 1 atm is this much gram per liter so we have to calculate the density R value is being given and the molar mass is also given and we have to round up the value to two decimal places now it is very simple PV is equals to NRT right and N can be written as being mole number of moles m by big m that is this is mass given by molar mass right into rt now this can be further rearranged to give this equation that is d is equals to p m by rt now what is going on here this m and this v we know that density is equals to mass by volume so we just take this V downwards and all these terms are taken this side to get the density now we just put the values here and ultimately our value comes to be as 1.30 gram per liter and we have to write only this in the answer space right now we will go for the next one now this is a question from the solid state and you can refer for details in solid state part 3 video and let us see now what we have to do now the separation of 1 to 3 planes in an orthorhombic cell with a equals to 0.25 nanometer b equals to 0.5 nanometer and c equals to 0.75 nanometer is and the answer should be rounded off to two decimal places now here interplanar distance is being asked for now we know the formula for orthorhombic is 1 by d square is equals to h by a whole square plus k by b whole square plus l by c whole square right and if we put the values here 
that is for h it is 1 by 0.25 whole square plus 2 by 0.5 whole square and for the next one 3 by 0.75 whole square and if we continue with simplification ultimately the value of d comes to be as 0.14 nanometer okay now we'll see a question from the redox chemistry and for this reference you can use the redox chemistry part 1 video now this is a direct question the standard reduction potential of cerium 4 plus cerium 3 plus and iron 3 plus and iron 2 plus are given as 1.44 and 0.77 volts respectively the log 10 K that is equilibrium constant value for the following reaction is being asked for and the answer should be rounded off to two decimal places RT by F is given as 0.0257 V and the equation is also given so according to the equation our E0 should be ER that is E reduction minus E oxidation right so it is 0.77 minus 1.44 volt and it comes to be as minus 0.67 volt now we will use the formula that is E0 is equals to 2.303 RT by F here since one electron transfer so we are considering n to be as 1 log 10 K now here we substitute the value that is 0.0257 and E0 value from here and ultimately the answer which we obtain is 11.32 this is the answer which we obtain for the log k value. Next we go for the NAT type question which is also from the solid state and it is from the solid state part 6 video. Now here basically silver crystallizes in face centered cubic lattice and the lattice parameter of the silver is asked for in picometer. Now, Avogadro's number is given, molar mass of silver is given and density of the crystal is being given. So, we know that for FCC, Z equals to 4 and M is given as 107.87 gram per mole and this here, there must be a point. Okay, so it is point here and the a cube is equals to z into m by Avogadro number into density now we substitute the values here and ultimately we get a is equals to 408.2 picometer okay now we will go for the last question of this video that is this is from ionic equilibrium part 5 video and the question is the solubility of lead iodide in 0 0.10 molar Ki aqua solution is dash into 10 to the power minus 7 rounded up to two decimal places and the solubility product is being given. So we have to take out the solubility right now for this if you have not watched the ionic equilibria part 5 video then it is useless to solve this question first watch it and then come. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. Now see this one. Now lead iodide if we lead iodide if we just break it then Pb2 plus plus 2i minus and we have Ki solution right. So Ki breaks into K plus plus i minus. So here K plus ion concentration is 0 0.10 molar and iodide concentration is also 0 0.10. Now if here we take the solubility as S then for this case it is S and this is 
2 is right and we know the formula for ksp it is ksp equals to concentration of pb2 plus and concentration of i minus to the power 2 right now we just substitute the values here that is here pb2 plus is s multiplied by 2s plus this concentration of iodide 0 0.10 whole square and here we write the ksp value that is which is given here now listen to it carefully that is here the 2s value is much much smaller than 0 0.10 value so ultimately the expression which we can write is write the expression to be as 10 to the power minus 2 into s only equals to 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 9 this is the case be given so ultimately the s comes to be as 7.1 into 10 to the power minus 7 molar now here it is asked to round up to two decimal places and the value should be in 10 to the power minus 7 molar so our answer must be 7.10 this is the answer so hope this was helpful thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment